straight over as I got off the coach to go and go and greet them. So, you know, you can tell that there's a, there's a good atmosphere in terms of the, the anticipation for the game tomorrow. So, yeah, really looking forward to it. You know perhaps better than anybody what an intimidating atmosphere it can be like in that stadium. Um, but for you personally, with your ambitions with this job in mind, how important are you get off to a, a winning start, do you think? Well, we spoke quite a bit this week about performing. Um, I think if you focus too much on, on, a, on a result, especially when you're building up to it, uh, you can sometimes get a bit carried away. So performing, outperforming your, your, the, the player that you're playing against will be a big thing for us. And um, we spoke a lot this week about control. Um, so, you know, we've, we've had three days training with the, with the players. Um, they've been so receptive to, to not only myself, but the rest of the coaches. Um, we've done a lot of work on, on and off the pitch in terms of the clips as well. So. Yeah, I think we're in a we're in a good space. Um, really, really impressed with the players. Um, I knew they were a high level and a high standard before, and but to, to 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 work with them for the last three days up close, you know, you can see that they're, they're not only top players, but they're good people as well. They want to do really well, which which really helps. Harry, good to see you. And you. Um, look, for all but one of your nine years as an England player, you had Gareth Southgate as your as your manager. So this is a new era. It's a, it's a big change. How different is it? In what ways would you describe it as different? And how does it feel from your perspective? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, it's a little bit strange when we first come into camp, but, you know, the boss has tried to, uh, you know, have his ideas and, and his identity. I think, um, you know, we've done a lot of good things uh, with Gareth and, you know, we've done uh, you know, well again in the summer, but ultimately, you know, a new coach has some new ideas and some fresh ideas and wants to try and implement that on the team. Um, especially on the pitch. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. You know, a lot of new faces, a lot of young players in the team as well who are really excited to be here and uh, excited to express themselves. So, um, from my point of view, it's, uh, you know, uh, another exciting chapter in, in my England career. James? Hi, folks. Lee, um, Rob obviously mentioned your, your Irish background. There's going to be a lot of focus on Jack Greenish and Devin Rice in Ireland given they switch to allegiances. Do you have any concerns about playing them tomorrow in what might be quite a hostile atmosphere? No, not at all. I think um, you know we spoke not not only to about about um, Jack and Declan to the whole squad. Um, we spoke about the atmosphere we expect it to be um, exciting, um, passionate, uh, loud. Um, but it's, it'll be no different to what the players are used to in Premier League games um, or, or high level games. So um, you know I think I think they're uh, they'll be ready for whatever, whatever comes out. And what reception do you expect to personally? I'm not sure to be honest. Um, probably the same. Um, yeah, but if, if, the, if the reception that we had off the, the kids outside was anything to go away, it would be very positive. Um, Harry, you, you, you've had a bit of time to reflect on, on the Euros now. What, what, what's your assessment of the tournament when you look back at it? Yeah, I think we've done extremely well to get to the final. I think it wasn't an easy tournament. Um, I don't think we reached the levels in a lot of the games that we know we can, but I think the positive thing from that is the fact that we got to the final. So, um, yeah, I mean, whenever it ends like that in, in defeat, you know, everyone quickly goes away and it's back into your own life and you try and get a break. But before you know it, you know, you're back uh, for the new season. So, uh, I mean, you don't fully get over it, but I think you move on and, and you look at areas you can improve. From a personal point of view, you look at areas uh, you can improve and then try and implement that on the new season. But I think as a team, you know, we can take a lot of positives from the summer, um, a lot of positives from, you know, the last four years, uh, especially. But ultimately, it's about improving and there's areas that we can improve, especially uh, in the games when we look, look back at the summer. So uh, that's now our task as, as players is to try and uh, get better and, and you know these uh, these games in the next few camps uh, are a great opportunity to do that. Is it harder to get over a second final or easier because you've experienced it before? Uh, no, it's not easy. I think every defeat is different in their own way. I think, um, yeah, it, it's tough, you know, whenever you get so close to reaching, you know, one of the pinnacles of your international career and, and it gets taken away like that is, uh, it's really difficult, but ultimately, you know, Life moves on, you have to move on, you have to get up and go again. And um, like I said, I think from my point of view, it just makes me even more motivated. It, it puts the fire in the belly to, uh, you know, to try and get back there again or in a major tournament, try and get back there in the World Cup. And 
uh, have a different outcome next time. And just finally for me, have you spoken to Gareth at all since? since yeah, we spoke after it was announced and uh, we just had a, a brief chat and he just wanted to, we both just wanted to thank each other and uh, I'm sure we'll have a, a proper catch up when we have some time to, to see each other in person. But uh, no, of course, Gareth was a, a big part of you know my international career and a lot of the lads, but uh, all we can say is thank you to him. And um, yeah, now we look forward to, to a new chapter in, in our careers. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Nestor from BBC News. Uh, Lee, congrats. I'm a newbie like you. It's my first uh, England uh, away game. I want to say, you mentioned that I've only been with the squad for three days. So tomorrow night, you mentioned the right performance. Is that long enough to implement your ideas and what, what are we going to see different? Because talking to a lot of fans in the six centre, it was the performance that they wanted to see. Win, lose or draw, we want to enjoy the football. So yeah. have you had long enough to do that? I think we have, yeah. I think we've, um, we've, we've tried to get three or four um, different ways of playing. Um, ultimately, we have to play to the players' strengths. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't see it as my style or my way of playing. I think um, you know, the, the key to, to coaching is making sure you, you utilise the players' ability in their um, in their profiles that they've got. So um, hopefully we, we see that tomorrow. Uh, and a question for Harry. I saw a few clips of Angel Gomez and um, Morgan Gibbs White, literally kids in the county. So couldn't believe it. Best friends since they were yeah. What's it like having that new energy um, in the camp as well? Yeah, it's great, and it's uh, you know it's great for the experienced players as well. And um, I think some you know I've been playing for. Nine, nine years or so now for England and um, I still remember what my you know, first camp was like and the excitement and the nerves and everything that comes with it so uh, it's great to see that on their faces, it's great to see them train with that, uh, that freedom and uh, them just trying to express themselves so uh, that's what you want as an international uh, player, you want competition, you want people pushing you, you want to see um, you know, the best players playing their best football so um, no, it's been great to see and you know, from my point of view as one of the experienced players in the team, it's just to try and help them settle in as quickly as possible. But I think we have that environment here with, with England anyway, and I hope they, they feel that. So, um, yeah, ultimately now it's just, I think everyone's excited to, to get on there, uh, on the pitch and, and play a game. Just a final question for Lee, it's the 89th minute winner, Harry scores a penalty. Do you run around the touchline celebrating or do you calmly enjoy it? I calmly enjoy it. Hi Lee, um, are you conscious of this being like a, a fresh start and a clean slate for everyone or how do you balance that against building on the Gareth's work over the last eight years? Yeah, definitely don't see this as a fresh start. I think, um, you know, the, the I spoke about it before in terms of taking over a team as a as a caretaker manager, that are low on confidence, you know, are low down the league, um, and are struggling. This is the total opposite to that. This is a team coming off the back of a um, a tournament. Um, you know, it's difference of opinion whether it was successful or not. I think it was. I think getting to a first of all qualifying for a major tournament is a is an achievement, and then to get as far as they did and so close um, and, and falling short. Yeah, I don't see this as a fresh start. This is a this is a chance to build on on what they've what they've done in the past. Um, I really believe that we're in a, a really strong position. I think when Gareth took over the team um, a while back, they were in they were in a, a, a low position in terms of the amount of quality that was around. But now it's totally different in that respect. These these players now are, are used to competing. Uh, the standards are so high, um, and it's important. We've spoke a little about about the, you know how how do you want to be remembered. Of playing for England in terms of a legacy, um, and they're you know they're, they're so close, and, and hopefully um, they go that one step further. I've got a lot of belief in them. I spoke about this already in the in some of the meetings that we've had. Um, ultimately, the hardest thing is you know that that last that last push, but you know we all, we all we all believe that they can do it. Harry, do you agree that this is this week has felt like building on the past rather than a fresh start? Yeah, I think so. I think. Um you know, like I touched on a bit earlier, to get to two finals in, in four years means you're doing a lot of things right. But ultimately, um, yeah, you need to you know have a few fresh ideas and a few different ways that you want to try and improve. And um, yeah, I think that's what the boss is coming to to try and do. You know, um, there's always room for improvement. We know that. Like I touched on in the summer, it was uh, it was great to get to the final, but we know there's areas we we could have been better and. 
and now it's about trying to implement that up until the, the World Cup in, in a couple of years. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for that opportunity and, and I think everyone's just ready to, to go out there and give that a go starting tomorrow. Okay, any other questions? Hi, Lee. Uh, Nathan Murphy off the ball. How do you think you'll feel when you walk out to a, a place where you've had so many good memories in an Ireland jersey as, as the manager of England? Um, proud. Um, it's it's not something that I've thought that much about until recently. I think when, when I was in the, the draw, obviously I was fully focused on the 21s and I thought that that would be, that's going to be a good game, you know, and I didn't realise that, obviously, until two weeks ago that I was actually going to be here. So, yeah, I'm excited by it. Um, I spoke about it a, a few a few days ago. It's not something that I'm overawed by. Um, I'm excited with the challenge. I think it's you know I'm, I've got a lot of confidence in the players. I think if um, you know I think I think they'll they'll enjoy the atmosphere. I think it'll be it's a good game for them to, to, to come back to off off the back of a you know a big disappointment. So hopefully they can um, we can perform. When you talk about maybe a calmly celebrating a, a last minute winner, would that be different tomorrow compared to any other game because it is Ireland? Or would that just be your natural reaction? Yeah, I'm mean, trying not to get too emotional in, in games, to be honest. Um, you know, I've, I've always been the same. I'm, 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 you know, that's just that's just the way I am. I try to keep quite calm. You know, I've been I've been on the end of a, a lot of last minute winners for the opposition, so I sort of I understand the, the respect bit. So, and you know, I'm, de I'm definitely respectful and, and, and weary that of, of my my history as well. So, yeah, like I say, it's. Um, I'm looking forward to the game. Have you heard much from many of your former Irish teammates in the build-up? Yeah, I've heard a lot from, from a lot of them. <laughs> lot of them yeah. Who would like say? No, I won't be fair to say, but they're, they're really supportive. I mean, they're, they're really proud of the, the fact of, of the position that I've, you know, I've got to. Um, you know, and it's, 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 um, it's something that I'm really proud of. Um, you know, it's a, you know it's, a, it's a great opportunity for not only for, my, for myself and the team, but for the staff as well, and one that we're, we're looking forward to. Harry, there's a strong Irish connection in your family as well. Are, is that something you've spoken about with them ahead of the game? Or a lot more than coming over to this to the normal way match? Does it, does it mean more to you and your family? Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. So my, my grandparents were, well, well, my, my dad's mum and dad were uh, were Irish, were born in Ireland and then uh, and then moved to England. So yeah, I've got some extended family uh, in Ireland. So I'm sure they'll be watching uh, in the pubs probably one in Ireland to win, but maybe wanting me to score a goal. So um, no, it's uh, no, it'd be a great game. It's my first time playing Ireland, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm sure it'll be a great atmosphere, and and yeah, you know, I'm respectful to any nation that, that I play against. So this is uh, no different. Okay, over to the gentleman second row. Thank you. So you said uh, it's not a fresh start, you've been in the past, um, but at least this game against Ireland is a, a new chapter for the selection, as long as you also call new players. But there's uh, one player who's uh, shining at the moment who's not in the squad. Uh, this player is uh, Mason Greenwood. Um, are you watching his game in the Marseille? Is he still considered as a player you can call? Yeah, Mason wasn't a player that we can consider, to be honest now. Um, I'm aware of how he's doing, but he wasn't, he wasn't under consideration. Just Lee, if there was one particular highlight in your Ireland career, uh, what would it be? What would it be? Um, I've got a few. I can remember a few lowlights, um, <laughs> um, highlights, from debut probably um, playing against Romania at Lansdowne um, with Andy Townsend, Ray Houghton, Tony Cascarino, Noel Quinn. Um, you know, good memories. You know, playing on a what is what was then a, a rugby pitch. Um, that was waterlogged, the wind was blowing. Um, you know, playing against a fantastic um, Romanian team, and I just, you know, it was the pitch was horrendous. But I just remember Hadji, it, it was almost like he had flip flops on. He was, he was so smooth and the way that he played and his left foot. So, you know, that was that was probably a highlight. It was a good, that was a good memory. Well, uh, sorry, Harry, I read somewhere before that you've donated jerseys and boots to a local club in Leicester Park where you. Family from, is that true? Yeah, I would have done. Yeah, I mean, um, my my dad still keeps in touch with the family there. Uh, if I'm honest, not not me so much, but um, yeah, I think we've got great support in in Ireland. You know, there's a lot of uh, kids and uh, kids here, and like you saw today, that support uh, English players. They support the Premier League and and Bundesliga now for me. So um, 
yeah, I think it's important to, you know, remember, you know, everyone in, in your family to a sense. Uh, like I said, I don't get out here too much or I don't see them too much. But, um, yeah, I, I like to kind of give back where I can. And um, I'm sure, yeah, my dad would have sorted out uh, that sort of scenario. And uh, I'm always happy to, you know, try and give back to uh, kids especially to, to try and uh, hopefully one, one day achieve their dreams. So, do you remember your first ever Tottenham goal? At Shamrock Rovers, yeah, I do. Yeah, um, yeah, don't forget that one. Um, no, it was a great, great night uh, with Harry Redknapp, and um, I can't remember what the score was, but it was nice. To, four nil. Well, it's nice to get on and and nick a goal and my first Tottenham goal, and obviously it went on to be the first of of many there. So, um, yeah, it's a great memory. Yeah, we'll for Harry. That's okay, Lee. What do you expect of Ireland? It's a new manager, but essentially the same squad that John O'Shea and the staff. So, yeah. what do you expect? Expect something different? I'm not sure, to be honest. We've um, we've spoke about what what potentially we we could come up against. Um, I watched a few of the games the the coach was recently involved with with Jamaica as well. So, just to get us an idea of potentially how he might play. I know they're going to be well organised. They're going to be very motivated. Um, they've got some good good players. Um, so, it's important that we um, approach the game with respect and and, um, and, and match them. Um, we, we expect it to be energetic, high tempo. So um, like I say, I think it'll be they'll be well coached and um, you know highly motivated. Thanks Steve, just for Harry, uh, in your role as captain, we spoke earlier about the reception that Declan and Jack Green and Sugar would get. Um, players change clubs at clubs all the time but international allegiance is different. So is the role for you as captain to maybe have a word that this could be a little bit different, it's not just changing clubs? I don't think specifically for them. I think um, we know it's going to be a tough atmosphere, a hostile atmosphere. I think you know everyone has a different career path. Everyone um, yeah has decisions to make along their journey to try and uh, be the best they can be, and, and that's what Declan and and Jack have done. So uh, yeah, look, they might be they might get some stick, and that's part and parcel of football now, whether it's at club or or international level, but. Uh, ultimately, they made decisions on what they thought was best for for them in their careers, and, and you can never, um, yeah, you can never say you know a bad word for them for for doing that. Finish here. Thanks very much, Ali. Um, one of you for me. Good to see you back on Irish soil. Um, another Irish question. Sorry about that. We'll get the away after this press conference. You said there you want how about your players how they want to be remembered. Yeah. How do you want to be remembered? You played four times already. You played the World Cup finals. Yeah. That. Or and a successful coach, I mean, I suppose both. Um, it's uh, the, the the career that I had uh, with Ireland. I'm really proud of. It was a, it was it was one that was up and down, um, but ultimately I, I enjoyed it. The the experience that we had in the World Cup, the the um, the camaraderie that we had in the squad, the um, you know the memories will will go a long way. I made some great friends as well um, that I look back on. Um, but now. Ultimately, my, my, my coaching career took, took a path where you know, I really enjoy uh, helping players and seeing players progress. Um, that's, that's taught me to different jobs in different places. So the um, good thing about the job where I'm at at the minute, I'm highly supported. Um, we really feel, really feel that from, from my, my bosses um, and the opportunity and the trust that they've got in me. You know, ultimately, you want to repay that. And finally, there was a lot of speculation on this side of the IRC when there was a vacancy of the Irish manager. Position yeah. and your name was linked. That you have touched upon that before. Yeah. But just to, if you wouldn't mind just clarifying the timeline, there seemed to be a chat last November with the FAI, a couple yeah. of coffee type thing. Yeah. Uh, didn't go any further than that. Is that your? Yeah. Is that yeah. the end of the day? Was it? Yeah, I can't remember the exact timeline, yeah. but um, yeah, I, I after the after the Euros, um, I, I sat down with the um, with the FAA's approval to speak to two or three people um, from different different opportunities. Um, just out of respect more than, more than anything and, and the Republic of Ireland won. Um, it was very informal, it went no further and um, like I say, I'm very look, lucky and privileged for the job that I've got so uh, I knew that going into 2021. Thank you. Okay, well then, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.